Hello everyone, Harry here. Welcome back to my studio. Thanks for joining me. I've just been making a video for my writing a song from scratch series and I was looking at MIDI drums, MIDI instruments, programming stuff. Um, I realised I missed the very start of the process out um, of that video so I thought I'd do a really quick just two three minute video about how we go about using MIDI instruments in Reaper, how we program drums, how we program instruments. So uh, let me just load Reaper up and uh, we'll, we'll have a quick look. So here we are in Reaper, I'm just going to show you how to set up a MIDI instrument, um, get a piano roll up and just put in some basic elements so we can start programming instruments. Um, I use this for drums, it doesn't have to be drums, you can use any instrument, pads, strings, voices, guitars, whatever, but um, I'm going to show you on drums. So what we want to do first is insert a new track. Now on the FX bar here, I'm going to go in and add a contact instrument because that's what I use. I use the Get Good Drums Modern and Massive. So I'm going to add that. Um, this out of the box sounds great. You don't really need to do too much with it. You've got you've got your individual elements, all the symbols and everything. So I'll show you where this comes into it. So let's close that. Set the bar at the start. We want to insert a new MIDI item. So that gives us this. So it'll drop in as four bars. In Reaper it'll always be set up to loop. So what we want to do is we want to go in item settings and turn off loop item source. So this means we can drag it, which gives us a little bit more to play with. So you want to go in. This is a standard piano roll, same as you'll see in pretty much any DAW. And these notes will equate to different drums, different hits. Uh, so you want to find your kick drum. I know where it is because I use this quite a lot. So I know it's going to be C1. I'll just drag this up and down so you can hear. There's going, to, there's going to be nothing underneath here. Kick drum. That's a snare. Snare drag or a, a flam. Another snare drag. Goes up into toms, sticks, all the stuff you need. So I'll just quickly tap in a beat. So I'm just going to program a very simple bass snare, bass, bass snare. Let's put some. We're going to put just a crash in and then some hi-hats. So there you go, that's nice and easy. And that is literally all there is to it. It's really, really easy, it's really quick, it's really simple. If you go over to my channel and watch the Writing a Song from Scratch series, episode 8 I think it is, I start going into real detail about programming drums and how to humanise it, how to make it sound natural, how to make it sound good. Um, all to do with velocities, how we place notes and that kind of stuff. So this is really good to get you going. You could then use that to write a guitar loop. It's just, I always think it's better to program stuff yourself than using pre-built loops or sound libraries. It just gives you a lot more flexibility, you can control it a lot better and if it really doesn't take that much time so there's no excuse really. So thank you very much for watching. I know it was really quick. I hope it was informative and gets a couple of you started using uh, piano roll and MIDI instruments and things. Um, it, as I said at the start, it was just a little bit of information I missed out of a previous video, so I wanted to make sure that I got it. Please head over to my channel and watch the uh, Writing a Song from Scratch series. Really interesting. I go into a lot of detail about programming drums, recording guitars, recording bass, writing vocals, the, the, whole, the whole package. So uh, thank you very much. Take care and see you soon.